if you had to draw and write about what you'd like for a hometown athlete, what you would hope to have, it, it would be, you know, Romeo Langford. I mean, it, it just would be. These three trophies is my my 1,000 career points. This one right here. And then last year I got this one for being the 2,000 2,000 points. And then this one I just got last night for uh, this year for breaking 3,000 points. He wanted to be an Indiana All-Star. He wanted to be Mr. Basketball. He wanted to win a state championship. That was probably, no question, was, was his you know, biggest goal, his biggest dream. And so, you know, to attain those goals, he needed to stay in a high school in Indiana. From a fan's point of view, it's been very good for the city of New Albany. He has allowed somehow for the whole community to experience um, something that's very special and very unique, but he, he's, he's made us all feel a part of his success. It just seemed like everybody was just, just one because they haven't had a state since like 74 or whatever, whatever it was. And then when we won it, just like, that's when New Orleans just started to like come closer and started growing. And it was, it was just like, that's probably one of the best uh, moments, moments, top periods of my life. This is probably my favorite one because this is a trophy I got for when I uh, broke the all-time scoring leader for New Albany. I got that la last year. Coach Ann got that made for me when I broke the record. There is a, somewhat of a movement that has been started by me <laughs> to retire his number, so I don't believe you'll ever see anybody wear number one again here, as long as I'm breathing. I hope to be remembered as, even though I didn't get the scoring time, I was like the best ever, one of the best ever to come out of Indiana. Just not, just not as a basketball player, but as, also as a, as a person in the spotlight, just the way I handle it.